How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Snacks Hawaii, the channel. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday, the 26th. Nice. It's actually the last Friday of April. It's Aloha Friday. Aloha Friday. <laughs> I want to point out because everyone just says everything's Aloha Friday. It's the last Friday. The Aloha Aloha to April Friday. See, anyway, little vlog, little news. A vlog. I'm feeling much better from the um, colon operation, colon procedure. It proceeded for sure. It proceeded out and then it proceeded in. But then it's like the next day, that kind of uh, prep, if you saw that little thing, little four minute trick in the prep, sure. it pulls everything out of you like as in dehydration. So the following day, like yesterday, it was kind of weird. There was like headache and coming in, going out, just kind of a weirdo. Oh. And it really is a dehydration recovery a little bit. There's that. But that, I think, is over with. It's rain's coming back. Yay, I guess. And some wind. So it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. Doing good. Feeling feeling chippy and cheeky. And uh, mm, enjoying the coffee. The big news of the nation We'll stay with the nation instead of going to the war zone. The nation, if of course, the Trump trials, which started on this Monday, it began. They got the jurors and all that, and they started the actual procedure. There's that word again. <laughs> proceeding to uh, do the witnesses. In the meantime, Trump's like, after every freaking trial, going to the media, going... It's unfair. It's unfair. And they're, it's all coming from Biden. It's a lie. And they're, they're gagging me and I can't talk about stuff. You know, I can't talk about my freedom of speech and I can't go out electing and... Uh, and he... I can't, to, I can't go to my son's my great grandchild high school graduation and I can't, I can't. And he's just whining and whining about things that basically are false. He could be actually, except for being required to be in court, he get, he, he's doing all that stuff. And plus, it just sort of struck me as far as he's complaining about his freedom of speech and being gagged and muzzled is what he said. Muzzled. I'm, I'm, right I'm so, for a person who's so, so muzzled, he can't shut the hell up. <laughs> He's like, blah, 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 I'm so muscle, blah, 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 blah. It smells. And he's got a refined gag order specifically for specific things, which he specifically violates. So he's not supposed to talk about weaknesses and everything. Oh, so, so he's going to get penalized eventually for that. And um, if he does it in court, now, um, you know, I'll penalize him $10,000. Just chuck it to the IOU he's not going to pay. But if he does that in front of the judge, right, where it's like right in front of the judge, it can be instant, like not just the fine, but jail time. So he could just throw him in jail. He's like, oh, I dare you to throw me in jail. He's practically like that. Because I'm thinking, he's thinking, and other people are thinking, all the talking heads are thinking and talking because they're talking heads on TV. And the opinion is, no one really wants to throw the guy in jail, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> it sort of turns him into a martyr, you know? The crowds might panic. I don't know. <laughs> He keeps asking for it. He keeps asking for it. And he keeps, and the judge is just gonna go, screw it, you know, this is my courtroom and I'm the judge. You're going in jail. Boom. Even the Secret Service are going, you know what? They're having little, the Secret Service meetings. Now, if he gets thrown in jail or when he gets thrown in jail, uh, what are we gonna do with the Secret Service protection? <laughs> They're already figuring out contingency when he gets thrown in the slammer. But he's just trying to make, like, it's so unfair on him and everyone's out to get him. That unfair politics of campaigning. Oh, it's like, shut the hell up. 
One, stop violating your gag order. Everyone's tired of it and they're about to puke. And two, you know, you're subject to the same laws as everybody else. They got the immunity trial in the Supreme Court. Supreme what? It's the Supremes? The Supreme Court. They're going, well, I don't know. Maybe total immunity? Maybe that's such a good idea. Maybe which of the things were part of his job and which weren't? That's all unclear to me whether maybe, maybe we should bump it back down to the other court. It's just a big fat delay topic. They can't do crap. So the Supreme Court, which is owned by MAGA, <laughs> is just playing into the delay. And they hope he doesn't have to go to court before the election this year, November. And because if he's convicted, he's not going to get votes from a lot of people. But if he's just in court, then maybe it still looks bad. I don't know. But uh, they're hoping the delay will save him. And then when it goes and he gets elected, they're counting on that. They're crossing their, their imprint for sure. <laughs> they're crossing their fingers for that. Then he can just... Uh, Murdered. Murdered. We won't get into that part because there's always the wacko. How you? How dare you suggest that? <laughs> but <clears throat> so immunity or not to immunity? It's just a delay tactic. So he's like, is this particular January 6 trial gonna come up and he's gonna get nailed for January 6 stuff? That's unclear because the thanks Supreme Court. This one is the hush money, which is. <laughs> I can't stand that. He's defrauding the state of New York on business. Business fraud is what it is. Business fraud, which is a I'm right here. misdemeanor. Business fraud. He wrote the check saying it was attorney, but the checks were really not attorney fees. So it's defraud. So they're frauding the, uh, he's the, whatever, allegedly frauding other thing. But if that crime, that misdemeanor crime is in connection to another crime, then it's a felony. So that's why the big thing. Oh, you just made that, sh you made that up. Oh, said shit. You are annoying. <laughs> I am annoying. Excuse me. It's in the, it's in the New York criminal code. It's in the law books. It's like, you just made that up. It's right there in the law books. What are you talking about? All of this. Hullabaloo. And so what's the crime? It was, it's two things maybe. One is uh, defrauding the election or uh, manipulating the election because it's a presidential election connected to the hush money. So maybe he wouldn't have got elected. A bunch of people going, this guy's in the in bed with a porn star and he paid her off and i'm not gonna vote for him so maybe he wouldn't got elected so that's the ooh, he was never president kind of deal because that's what and time's up that's all there is to it i know should have opened my mouth oh, dang it but uh election fraud and also uh election monies because he's getting election money and he's paying off um an adult film industry person. <laughs> Let's see what's in the news. Because it's like this. Look. <gasps> it's called, I don't know, <laughs> Hawaii's got news too. See? About a billion dollars arranged for wildfire expenses. So we passed the budget and a billion is gonna go to Maui to make them houses and they're having a bond. This one's interesting. They have a bunch of land from the military and the lease is coming up. So what are they gonna do with all this land? On Maui, with all the people on Maui, wanting to rebuild on Maui. So maybe it's they for you. do something with the housing. I don't know, see what happens. Legislators face deadline tonight to avoid peace on chaos. Okay, well, we're not gonna go there. And in sports, they're um, still NFL draft. Yay, they picked my favorite. To your left. And this guy is just a bear. See, I'm a bear. Pour beer in my face. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty good. He's got the bear skin rug completely over his head. And baseball. <laughs> that guy. You know what? 
Is there a... Oh, yes, there is. Remember, if you want to relax in 1963, just go out to the bar and, um... Uh, uh, I don't know, shake hands with the bodybuilder guy. So, this is 1963. This is actor, bodybuilder, island gym owner Rex Ravel to the left. Congratulates Neil Abercrombie, who has been... That's Neil Abercrombie? You gotta be kidding. Look, that's Neil Abercrombie. Before he had like the long hair they put in a braid. That's, that's Neil Abercrombie. See, shaking hands. Wow, that's that's amazing. Okay, this has a bear. Oh, Bukanamoku. See, Bukanamoku. Jump trial in the spotlight. Of course. Okay. He's got a red tie. That's different, I guess. He's got 110,000 red ties. Oh, and the political cartoon. We're coming to save you now. The crossword puzzle is finished. You Kane's drowning. He's the Speaker of the House lifeguard, Mike Johnson. Take enough time there for that? Okay, we're good. Be wary of total reliance on green energy sources. Is electricity guaranteed in the worst catastrophes? This issue has been nagging at me for some time, and as I note the daily rolling electrical power blackouts and other temporary power outages, you name the reasons and excuses. It happens routinely. The worst case, as it appears to me, is getting way ahead of ourselves in reliance on green, vulnerable sources of energy. Meanwhile, we are stumbling all over ourselves to divest Oahu, Oahu of most reliable and survivable power generated by fossil fuels. To sustain life on Oahu, we need electrical power to pump out the water, ground, pump water out of the ground and distribute it to the population. What if a catastrophic storm Catastrophic. The British pronunciation. Catastrophic storm hits and blows most green power sources out to sea. With minimal, if any, surviving power generated capability, is our power grid guaranteed to meet our needs? Oh. Toby Rushforth Kaneohi. Well, uh, oh, thank Why you. Why are you here? I'm here to just make fun of the news. <laughs> thank you, Toby, for uh, talking about um, um, electrical stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, watch out, man. You gotta have green. You gotta have that fossil fuel, otherwise you can't get the water out of the ground. Oh, unreliable electricity. Ooh. That's no reason. Look, Toby, 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 you gotta face reality. <laughs> the reality is, it takes a long time to transition over. So look out, like you got an electric car and you gotta try to find one of those gas, I mean, electrical plug-in things, because they don't have them everywhere. It's not the uh, easy second option just yet. It's, it takes a long time to transfer over. And if there's no transfer, it's gonna be fossil fuel forever until it runs out or until whatever, bad and pollution. But we got them electrical problems right now anyways. That's the reality. Those things happen now. You're blown up to see. What if we turn to green energy and it's all blown up to see? We have that problem right now. Anyways, blah, blah. It'll be good, I think. Maybe. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Go green. Aloha. Have a good Friday. Aloha to Friday. Aloha to you. It's Aloha Friday. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. It's, a, it's Aloha Friday. Aloha. Okay, now. Okay, bye.